Hello, hello, and welcome back to the vlog. You might be surprised to see that uh, I'm still pregnant. Um, I'm filming this on my due date. <laughs> Today is March 6th, 2024. That is the day that I meant to have this baby. Um, we'll see. <laughs> Indications not looking great. <laughs> but I thought I would just vlog this week and up until it happens to see when it happens. I don't know. I wish I could predict the future and tell you where this vlog is headed, but I really simply cannot. So I have kind of, you know, been contracting a little bit for like days, not just like today. <laughs> um, but nothing real. I think it, uh, he's just like slowly moving down. I've been having slightly more pelvic pressure. He never like fully dropped. Still hasn't, I don't think. He's definitely moving down. And every day I get a little bit more pelvic pressure. I had a cervical check last week and I was one centimeter dilated, but my OGM was like, that doesn't really mean anything. <laughs> this might be TMI, but um, I lost my mucus plug uh, on Friday, last Friday. Today's a Wednesday. Yeah, so, wait, why am I doing that right before I do my hair? Anyway, um, it's been frustrating. I wanted to go into labor before my due date and that didn't happen, right? Still have today. Uh, and I guess anything could happen, but um, I went on a couple long walks this weekend. I had this like labor inducing salad. If you guys saw that short, I put it on Instagram and YouTube shorts. I've been bouncing my ball all day, every day. I've been doing deep squats. I've been doing the mile circuit. So, you know, I'm doing things. He's snug in there. I think the reason I thought I was going to go into labor before my due date is because my mom went into labor a week early, over a week early. And my mother-in-law went into labor, I think like two days early. So I know that's not really an indication of anything, but those are the maternal genetics that are involved in this pregnancy. So I just thought maybe, <laughs> um, but no, it did not happen. But today is my due date. I will say I am going to get my 40 week NST today. That's why I'm kind of getting dressed. <laughs> this little one has been so affectionate. I know that's probably not news to anyone except for we had talked about kicking the cats out of the room at 37 weeks and we didn't do it. We didn't have the heart. We couldn't do it. But we did kick them out of the, the bedroom at night starting over the weekend. And they've been taking it like a champ. The first night there was a little bit of meowing, but really not that much. They've mostly been sleeping in here in the nursery uh, or on the couch. And really there's been like minimal complaining. Like sometimes I'll get up to go to the bathroom and one of them will just be like asleep outside the door, which is sad, but cute, but they don't meow or complain. And it's made them way more affectionate when we do open the door in the morning. <laughs> I think it was harder on us to lock the cats out of our bedroom at night than it was for them, <laughs> genuinely. Anyway, today's my NST. I am all over the place, brain-wise. Today's my 40 week NST. So I'm gonna check on baby, which is good because like the bigger he gets, and my God, I think he's huge in there. The like, less pronounced his movements are, if he passes his kick counts every day, but like, you know, it used to be like he was really kicking the shit out of me. Now it's like he's just like, like he can barely move around in there. Yeah, I'm excited for them to monitor me. Uh, my 40 week OBGYN appointment is tomorrow. I've elected for a membrane sweep at that appointment because I'm ready. <laughs> I'm fucking ready. And uh, one of my sorority sisters who had a baby earlier this year was telling me that <clears throat> she had a membrane sweep the day before her due date and she thinks that's what sent her into labor. I think I fucked this braid up because I was talking. Then one of you guys I've been talking to in the DMs my whole pregnancy um, who has the same due date as me, she had a membrane sweep yesterday and she went in, her water broke today. So I was kind of on the fence about it, but I'm gonna do it tomorrow. I'll keep walking around, bouncing on my ball, squatting. And if none of that works, I have an induction scheduled for Sunday. It actually just sent me a confirmation of my induction date. So I'm braiding my hair back, which I've been doing every day because if I do go into labor, I think I said this in my vlog before I went on maternity leave, but if I do go into labor any day, I want my hair to be braided. And normally I do a much better job than I'm doing right now. <laughs> it's because I have to, I'm trying to talk and focus at the same time. And I don't think I can do that very adequately. Okay, anyway, I forget what I was even saying. I think I was at, oh yeah, I have an induction scheduled for Sunday. I, I did that because 
Um, my uncle's actually an OBGYN and he recommended scheduling an induction for before my due date, actually. My actual OBGYN that I see up here in LA, she said that she was comfortable scheduling an induction with me anytime I wanted after 39 weeks. I just wanted to give myself as much time as, but she said that she would have to do an induction by 41 weeks. That's just like her policy. I wanted to give myself as much time as possible while also knowing that I'm extremely impatient. I'm talking fast now because my battery's about to die. So my induction's at Sunday, which will be 40 weeks and four days. I'll catch up with you guys. I'm leaving here in, oh, I can leave here in like 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I can leave here in 10 minutes. Sh go away. <laughs> hey buddy. I'm back from my NST. I guess it went well. I mean, they sent me home, so I assume everything is fine. It's, those things are so confusing. Look at how handsome you are. They checked my amniotic fluid, and I still have a lot of amniotic fluid, which is evidently a good thing, but a little unusual considering how far along I am, but an indication of why he may be so cozy and unwilling to come out <laughs> was kind of the vibe that I got from the way they were talking about it. I ended up having to be hooked up to the thing for like 40 minutes because baby was asleep. They had to like buzz him with a little buzzer twice and then he kind of started kicking around at the end and they let me go. It always freaks me out when those things aren't just like a routine, you know, and they were like really like, listen, if he's not moving, you know, after you eat something sweet or drink water or move around, like you gotta come in. So I think at this point they're just like, I think after 40 weeks, they're like come in for the, like, the slightest indication that like things are, not normal. I'm making lunch right now. I went to Trader Joe's. Kind of like my thing now that I do after these appointments. I go walk around Trader Joe's for like 45 minutes. <laughs> there was a guy giving out popcorn samples and I just was kind of like lapping around the store picking up snacks and stuff. And he was like, what are you looking for? Because I kept passing him. And I was like, I'm um, just, because it's raining outside so I can't go outside to walk. And I was like, oh, I'm just, you know, using this as an excuse to walk. And he was like, oh, yeah, when do you do? And I was like, today he was like oh my god and i was like yeah <laughs> come on baby be prompt be on time like your mother i would never be late never this is a lesson you'll have to learn when you come out we're not late in this house he's taking after mario mario's always late anyway i'm making lunch right now <laughs> i feel so defeated i've also had like a lot of people text me like oh my god happy due date happy due date is he here like blah 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 and i'm like i feel so surrounded by love <laughs> And yet, it sucks every time I have to be like, nope, just a regular day over here. Oh, hi, Tuna. Oh, yes, I'm back. I'm not going anywhere. Maybe. Maybe I am going somewhere. Maybe mommy will go into labor tonight. Maybe you'll have a brother tomorrow. Another brother. You know, it's almost your birthday. Your birthday's in two days. Get my lunch out of the microwave here in a minute, and then, I don't know, watch a movie maybe. <laughs> I'm done with work. I am all done with work, so. Today's Mario's last day of work. They just thought it would be easier at their job if he had like a finite end date and he's gonna take sick time until the baby's out and he can get the paid family leave thing that they have in California here. Um, he gets eight weeks through the, oh, that's my lunch. He gets eight weeks through the state. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. By the way, this is how we've been keeping the cats out of the bassinet during the day. They're not afraid of the tinfoil. There used to be more tinfoil there. They've moved it and made toys out of it. But the basket and there's some purses in there <laughs> keeps them from going in. And it hasn't been a problem. <laughs> Not that this is like new information, but this one's been especially clingy today. Anyway, I was just sitting up here. I've been doing these uh, crossword puzzles. I do the New York Times crossword puzzle every day on my phone and I've been like working my way through the archive. I've done almost every single one from 2023. I've done every single one from 2024 because I do them every day now. And now I'm working through 2022. I'm in March of 2022 right now. But I don't like staring at my phone for that long. I do them on my phone. So I have this book of crossword puzzles that I've been working my way through. And then I was just sitting here and I remembered that today, in real time, um, the last two episodes of... Uh, hello. <laughs> the last two episodes of this god-awful season of Love is Blind dropped. So I got to watch that because... I'm simply addicted to that trash. So I'm gonna do that right now. Hello, it's the next day, March 7th, 40 weeks, one day pregnant, still pregnant. <laughs> really, I'm feeling no signs of not being pregnant anytime soon. I mean, I don't know if I like would be feeling, but like I feel normal, I feel as normal as I've felt for the last few weeks, which is not normal, but 
very pregnant. Anyway, my point is I'm still pregnant. <laughs> just took a shower, just rebraided my hair. I have my doctor's appointment in two hours. Mario's home. He's in the shower. We didn't think we were ever going to make this doctor's appointment. We thought we'd have a baby by now. <laughs> and it's so frustrating. I'm on my ball. I'm going to get a membrane sweep today. We were going to go on a long walk. Mario has a bit of a cold. Um, so we slept downstairs. He's been sleeping downstairs the last couple of nights because I just don't want to get a cold, but he thinks he's almost over it. But yeah, my dad texts me every day a question mark like, where's the fucking baby? And I'm like, I don't know why you think I won't tell you when it's here. <laughs> I want my baby. That's the update. That's the update. I wish I had more to say, but I'm just like, oh. oh my God, I look so rough. Um, why do I look so rough? Oh God. It's the next day. I had my membrane sweep yesterday. That sucked like a motherfucker. It was so painful. Hi, Tuna. It's Tuna's birthday today. Tuna's five years old. It's March 8th. He's such a good boy. We gave him a little catnip toy. We let him sniff around on the front yard. We never let him out into the front yard, usually. <laughs> Can you see him? Oh my goodness. You look at all this fur you left on the bed. What a cutie pie. You're so cute. Oh my god, he's so cute. Oh, he's so cute. Tuna, we've had you for five years. Can you believe it? Uh-oh. Anyway, I remember in sweep yesterday, like I think I said, it sucked. It was super painful. Um, it was horrible, actually. Here I am, over 24 hours later, right? Just about 25 hours later and no labor, no signs of labor. 40 weeks, two days. I know this is normal, but it's still very frustrating. It's looking more and more likely like I'm gonna get to my induction, which I was just really hoping to go into labor naturally, but I'm getting more and more defeated about it every hour that passes and nothing happens. One thing is that I need to cut my nails because like I had my nails shortened and these are my these are my real nails, but they're still like kind of long. And when I was in my membrane sweep yesterday, I was holding Mario's hand and I didn't realize until afterwards, but I was, I was like in a lot of pain. I mean, it only lasts like less than a minute, but like I was clamping on his hand and then I looked at his hand afterwards and he had all these little like nail marks in his hand and I was like oh shit I should um cut my nails so that you know when I'm in pain for labor <laughs> I don't do that to him again he didn't complain he didn't seem to give a fuck but I was like oh I'm gonna cut my nails when I get home and he was like okay and then I didn't yesterday we like went on a walk after the membrane sweep we went on a walk we had a big meal we went on another walk nothing nothing i've just been squatting <laughs> i've been squatting a lot and uh like standing and like rocking around trying to just i don't know i don't know but anyway that's where i'm at just want this baby to come out he's been super active um like yesterday he was super active after the memory sweep all night i didn't get to bed until like two in the morning because he was just squirming around down there and then i woke up at six so i got like four hours of sleep which is not that bad and he was still squirming around when I woke up. <laughs> and he's been a little more quiet today, but still pretty active. That's the update. Hopefully I go into labor today or tomorrow. I don't know. I'm so frustrated. I didn't think that this was going to happen. I really thought I was going to go into just spontaneous labor. <sighs> okay, I'm putting off going to cut my nails, but I'm going to go do that right now. Give myself a little pedicure too while I'm at it. If I can reach my toes. I haven't tried in a while. Okay. No, I'm just talking at you. Bye. Well, another day and no baby. It's the end of the day. On Saturday, again, my induction is tomorrow at five. And right now it looks like we're making that induction. I didn't even braid my hair today. I've kind of made peace with it though. Like there's something very nice about like knowing when it's gonna happen. That allows me to like plan around it, pack the hospital bag while I'm not in labor. I already did a bunch of yard work today. Tomorrow we'll change all of our sheets and towels and just like get the house ready because we, we know that there's gonna be a baby when we go home. <laughs> so, you know, at first I was like, ugh, a little bit bummed because, you know, my body didn't go into labor naturally, but the planner in me has come around to the concept of this induction. That's kind of why we planned it in the first place, right? So anyway, that's that. I'm sure to no one's surprise, I didn't get very much sleep. And it was daylight savings last night, so I got even less sleep than I realized. My last attempt at cervical ripening, natural cervical ripening, I feel like this is so surreal. I woke up into my kick counts and I was like really sad that it's gonna be the last time I'm gonna feel this baby kicking me from the inside. Okay, we got a bunch of stuff. 
So the stuff that I ordered, I got 10 foot phone chargers. I'll put those in the hospital bag. I just decided to get this. It was on my registry, but a lot of people recommended it. It's the Hatch Alarm Clock. Um, people say it's like got a good amount of light for like overnight feedings and it's a good noise machine. We have a noise machine in the nursery, but I figure like this one we'll put in our room. Uh, so maybe I'll set this up today. We got some gifts from the registry. Uh, I wasn't expecting anything else, but my friend from high school got us these. Uh, these were highly recommended. Obviously he won't need them for a little while, but they're like teething pacifiers and feeders, like when he's into solid foods and stuff. And it's just really good for like teething. He like frees foods and they chew on them like a pacifier. Here's another teething set. I'll put this away for a while because again, it'll be, I think a few months before that's the thing. And then we just got some, you know, off before baby ointment. And then my friend Caroline sent me <laughs> a bunch of, first of all, some bibs. <laughs> bibs for the baby. And a bunch of face masks. Maybe I'll put some of these in my hospital bag, actually. I'm gonna do that, why not? Oh, a bunch of face masks, wow. I don't know which ones I wanna bring. I'll bring them all, maybe. Anyway, that was really sweet. Um, I'm gonna take care of the recycling and then bring this stuff upstairs. <laughs> Watching something that I'm trying to watch other people who kind of like the inductions, but it's not making me feel better like I thought it might. Well, what are they saying? No, they're all being very positive about it. It's just like I don't know. I've decided I want to go on a walk just to get some movement in before I sit in a hospital bed for however long. If we're talking about it, we don't know how much movement I'll be doing. Maybe I'll walk around a lot, maybe I won't lay in bed for 24 hours. So we're walking to McDonald's because the predominant craving above all other cravings is pregnancy for me is definitely french fries and McFlurries. You may say that's not a craving, <laughs> but I just like McDonald's <laughs> and you may be right. <laughs> but I'll tell you this, before I got pregnant, I didn't eat McDonald's that frequently. <laughs> no, it's definitely It's definitely way ramped up in this pregnancy. So that's my boy. it only makes sense that on the last day we, uh, we go get some french fries and McFlurries. It's like a quarter mile to the McDonald's, so I was like, let's just walk. Maybe something will happen. I doubt it, but <laughs> it would be really funny if my water broke at the McDonald's. <laughs> All right, let's finish packing this hospital bag, shall we? All right, nursing bra, toiletries, Mario's toiletries. That's what needs to go in this bag. I have a friend who lives in Vermont. Thank you, Anna, by the way, who sent me a box of my favorite this is my favorite food in the entire world. Favorite candy, favorite food, whatever. Maple candy from New England. <sighs> Gotta not eat this whole box tonight. They say a good way to introduce the kitties to the baby is to rub the baby things on the cats. So I'm gonna rub these socks on Beethoven and then we'll put these socks on. Are you guys gonna know the name at this point? We'll put the socks on the baby when he comes home so it smells like baby. Right, Bubba? You like that? Now we can pack these socks. All right. Oh, now this thing is really stuffed to the gills. <laughs> Suitcase done. Now I'm gonna pack the backpack, the iPhone chargers, and my AirPods, my wallet, my Kindle, some masks, I guess, are in there, my iPhone, and Mario's gonna pack up the Switch, and we'll put that in there, too. So it's, like, electronics, basically. And now we are all packed. It's 3 o'clock. We're probably gonna leave here in, like, an hour and 15 minutes. It's crazy. That's so soon. We've just been resting, napping, relaxing. I took, like, a 30-minute nap. And I've been doing the Sunday crossword puzzle. All that's left to do is change my sheets. And I think that's all I really cared to do before we left. So it's happening. <laughs> okay, we're at the hospital. We're here. Yep. <laughs> Induction starts. Uh, well, we're our appointments in 10 minutes. So um, next video you see will be us telling you the birth story.
<laughs> hopefully a very hopefully very, very chill short, one chill one chill yeah. calm happy positive um next time we see you we'll be more than just cat parents yeah thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and i'll see you in the next one bye